Uh, Islam, congratulations on the submission win. Uh, initial thoughts after your victory over Drew Dover. Uh, thank you. I just feel great because this is my uh, fight. Like I, my last fight, like one and a half, one and a half years ago. That's why now I'm very happy. Uh, it, you said yourself in the post-fight interview that you went for the the easier path to victory with your takedowns. Was anything in there surprising from Drew after facing him? Uh, just surprised a little bit about his power. He has he have very good power. I just I try to finish him first round, but this is not my plan. I just make him tired first and finish him. That's why, like, first round and second round, I, like, take him down, make him work. He, like, push me, push me, and he's tired. That's why, like, choke very easy. And the actual submission, I, I, a lot of people might have missed it. They weren't, they didn't know what they were watching. What exactly was that choke that you got on him? Uh, this choke, like, if I try to do this, did this choke first round, is very hard. But if opponent tired, it's like easy. I did this choke like many times in, in the gym. But I remember about this when I stay on top. Uh, let's try, maybe. And now, uh, what's next for you? I know you at the, begin uh, at the media day, you said maybe rebooking the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, RDA. Is there anyone else you want to fight next at 155? Uh, RDA or Tony Ferguson, but my dream fight's Tony because... We have some deal with him, like uh, a couple years. Now he uh, still like like pressure Habib. He says some like I don't know. I don't understand this guy, but I'm I wanna just help him retire it. You know, he's old. Like his mind is a little bit crazy. That's why I just wanna help him. So it's it's his history with Habib that makes you wanna fight him. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't know if you saw the the Peter Yan Alzermain fight that just happened. Alzermain won by disqualification. Uh, I'd like to get your thoughts on it if you saw it. Uh, this is crazy. I think uh, Aljamain like like don't want like this take this belt because that's why he take over this belt. I think it's gonna be very much 100% because because uh, nobody like wanna win title like that. That's why I think. They're gonna fight again. But did you hear the story that perhaps Peter's corner advised him to make the knee when Aljo was on the floor? Uh, no, I just like this is like surprise for me how he's not like very professional guy, but he have to control this emotion, everything. I don't know. This is loose belt like that. I. I I know Peter how like now I have many questions he have, but I don't know. Do you think the fight between you and Tony Ferguson will look how the fight between him and Khabib would have looked? Uh, a little bit, yes, because uh, like always when Khabib uh, take this fight versus Tony, like Tony Southpaw, I am Southpaw too. That's why all this like how many five time. I help Habib for this fight. That's why I know exactly how Tony work. I know a lot about him. Congratulations. Thank you. Islam, I heard that, you know, this isn't just your team, but Habib says he wants this fight for you. Why specifically? Is it because he did not get to fight him? Is it just he feels this is a good fight for you? What is he telling you? Um, uh, you know, uh, Habib and me have just almost same technique. We have good wrestling, good gra good uh, grappling skills. That's why I just wanna show people how Habib take him down, like control him, make him tired, like make him tap. I just everybody talk like Tony, like hard fight for Habib, but I never think like that because. Habib's wrestling and grappling like different level. Nobody have like that. How how much do you want this fight? Because a lot of people would say after tonight, fighting Tony Ferguson, that's a step back. 
Islam Makachev is ready for a bigger fight, get him closer to the title. What do you think about that? Mm, I don't think this is a step back because Tony is number five, six. That's why this is going to be good for me. And Tony, uh, very good fighter because he finished war, a lot of guys. That's why I just want to check my skills and I know I can finish him. You, know, you are always in the team, all business when you come in, but how do you guys celebrate a win like tonight? Uh, I, don't, I just want to go home, stay with my friends, with my family, enjoy. I know a lot of people now in the house in Vegas. We have big team here. A lot of like my friends, teammates waiting for me in Dagestan. Same like a lot of a lot of people waiting for me because uh, last year I travel a lot. That's why I just have to go home. Congratulations! Thank you, Islam. Congrats on a great victory uh, debut here in Las Vegas. Wanted to ask you, was there any added pressure to continue the team legacy with your best friend in the corner, Habib, to get this win? And do you feel like maybe a monkey's off your back or less pressure now? Uh, you ask about, like, this is pressure for me or not? Uh, I know a lot of, like, a lot of people believe me. Like, my my coach always told me, hey, you're going to be next, you're going to be next. Now, like, a lot of people talk about me. What I have to do, I just have to training hard, and that's it. Because I have good, good wrestling skills, good striking skills, grappling. I just have to improve, improve, and training hard. You've had a few different changes of opponents. Did you feel like coming into this fight that Drew Dober was tougher competition than RDA? Uh, almost same, but... Uh, these both guys have good striking, but I think about RDA, RDA wrestling like almost same. That's what. But Drew Dober have very hard punch, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, RDA, I think, just a little bit more tough, more. Uh, he have like more experience. Like he, I, I don't know. I just, I just believe my skills, you know. And lastly. You're working towards being the champion of this division. How do you envision your path to getting that gold strap around your waist? Uh, one more time. How do you envision becoming the champion of this division? I just have to be in, you know, this year I have to fight two, three times more. And beginning 2022, I'm going to be champion. Just one for me. Are you willing to wait until you either get a top five opponent, especially with seven wins? Are you willing, willing to wait until you either get Tony for your next fight? Or would you, if the UFC says take another fight higher ranked, would you take that fight? Or are you willing to hold out until you get a top five opponent? Mm, honestly, I just want to fight with somebody from top five. But I know all these guys busy. Somebody have fights like this. But I know Tony now free. That's why I just ask him, let's make this happen. Thank you, guys.